7. It says, Husbands, in the same way, live with your wives in an understanding way, in an understanding manner, as someone weaker, since she is a woman, and show her honor as a fellow heir of the grace of life, so that your prayers may not be hindered. I love this. Husbands, love your wives in an understanding way. Uh, the word actually means study her design. Live with her in an understanding way. In other words, understand your wife's makeup. And we would also say to the husband uh, or the wife, understand your man's makeup. Now, uh, it is, let, let me just say a few things. Remember in the first few messages we talked about how in the 26th week of gestation, uh, something happens, a, male, a chemical passes to the male child, and what does the male become? He's more like the, he's more the project oriented, he's more, so he wants to provide the solutions, he is, you know, he takes responsibility, he's the protector. That's what, that's what makes him the man. The woman is by her makeup and design, by God, presented to be caring, very sensitive. Uh, she's supposed, she, she, she's intuitive, she can understand, and she longs for relationship. So when a woman is talking, understand this, and I love what Egridge brings out. He says, think about this, men, that when you, were, when you were dating the woman, your wife, you loved that about her, that she was so sensitive and so caring. You loved her feminine qualities. Then you get married, and the same feminine qualities that she wants in a relationship now make you say, why does she want to talk all the time? But she is designed for relationship. And I, I, I'm trying to understand this myself. Just, she's designed for relationship. I don't think I've got it fully, but I'm trying to understand it. She's designed for that relationship, and she loves to communicate and make her husband a part of her life. Now, a man doesn't need to oftentimes talk as much for relationship. A man can express himself with a very few words. Normally, unfortunately, men, we think we're the strong, silent type that may or may not be. But a woman loves to communicate and have a relationship through communication. I love the story of a woman who is a little starved for affection. She asks her husband, she says, Tom, do you, do you love me? And Tom says, uh-huh. <laughs> she says, Tom, do you, think, do you think I'm the most beautiful woman, the most precious woman in the world? And he goes, uh-huh. And then she says, Tom, do you think my lips are as, as soft as rose petals? And he goes, mm-hmm. <laughs> she turns to him and says, Tom, you have the most beautiful things you say. You say the most beautiful things to me. You didn't get that. <laughs> he wasn't communicating much. But listen carefully. A woman is designed to be relationship oriented. I get a really interesting kick out of it because when we, when we men communicate, right? Uh, he's watched two men communicating. There's got to be some direction in the conversation. At least I know that's the way I'm made up. Like, there's a point that we're getting to. And we try to get to the point as soon as we can. Because that's the way we're designed to be. When I talk to my mom on the phone, yeah, my conversations, I, I love my mom with all my heart. And when we're together, we can communicate a lot. But I'm a man, I can't talk on the phone for 30 minutes. <laughs> but my sister and my mom, they talk five times a day. I don't know what they talk about. <laughs> but my dad and I talk, in three minutes we've communicated, con connected, we feel so loved and we just talk. That's a man. But a woman loves to talk just to have a relationship. There doesn't have to be any direction in it. You come, she comes back from meeting with her friends and you say, what do you talk about the whole afternoon? She says, nothing, we're just having coffee together and we talked. And there was no real direction in it. She comes back from a shopping trip and she wants to have a relationship. She wants to tell you not what curtains she finally bought, but she wants to tell you the whole procedure in which the curtains were bought. Which shop she went to, how she went, how the salesman brought the rack down, what happened. And the husband's going and his, and his mind is oriented. He's just thinking, did he get the curtains? <laughs>